Hey guys, this is Vikash for Skyline Motions and welcome to this brand new video. In today's video, let's learn how to create this typographic intro inside of the Avenger Resolve 16. So let's take a new project and get started. Alright, so click on this new project and let's call it intro and click on create and now let's do some basic settings so click on this setting button and set the size of this project 1920 by 1080 and i'm gonna go with 60 frame per second and set this playback frame rate 60 and click on save and now i'm gonna create typographic intro inside of this fusion tab so we have to take a new fusion composition so right click on this media pool and click on this new fusion composition and i'm gonna call it fusion comp and set the duration of this composition maybe half a second so according to 60 fps it should be 30 frame so set this value maybe 30 frame and click on create and drag this fusion comp on this timeline like that and then go to your fusion tab and now we have to import an image file so right click on this media pool and click on import media and select your image so i'm using this image that i have downloaded from pixabay.com and a link given in the description so go to the link and download this image if you want and click on open and now drag this image on this flow window and drag this media out over here for now and drag this image in this viewer like that and as you can see it has a different proportion so let's fit this image so select this and hit control plus a space bar for search box and search for crop node so this is a crop node hit add button and drag this crop to the viewer and as you can see it's perfect now close this media pool and set the size like that now let's take a text node so click on this text button and drag this text to the viewer and let's type a text whatever you want to type so i'm typing create and select your favorite font style so i'm using century gothic all right and set the size of this text maybe 0.2 hit enter and now let's convert this 2d text into 3d so take a image plane 3d node and attach this text with this image plane 3d and drag this image plane 3d to the viewer and as you can see we are on 3d viewport so hold alt and middle mouse button and drag your mouse to rotate this viewport in 360 and hold control and a scroll up to zoom in and a scroll down to zoom out or hold only middle mouse button to move this viewport left right top and bottom all right now let's take one more image plane 3d node so click on this button here and let's attach this image plane 3d with this crop node like that and drag it to the viewer and as you can see it's looking something like this now let's take a 3d merge so click on this button and add a 3d merge node and attach this image plane 3d with this 3d merge and attach this image plane 3d with this merge 3d and drag this to the viewer all right now right click on this flow window and go to arrange tool and check this box to turn on the grid snap that will help you to keep this node clean and arranged all right now drag this merge 3d to this viewer and click on this double viewer and let's drag this merge 3d in this viewer one and let's take a 3d camera so click on this camera button and add a 3d camera and attach this camera with this merge 3d all right and then go to your second viewer and right click on that go to 3d option and uncheck this grid and right click again and go to camera and check this camera 3d all right and go to this viewer one and drag this camera like that okay now select this image plane 3d for this text and go to this inspector window and go to transform so set this z translation value maybe 0.8 hit enter and select this image plane 3d for this image and go to transform and set this g translation value maybe negative 2.5 hit enter and let's scale it up so 
hold control and scale it up and set this orange line outside this frame like this and now go to the end of this animation and select this camera and go to transform of this camera and set this g translation value maybe 2.5 hit enter and right click on this g translation and click on animate or you can also click on this diamond button to add a keyframe on g translation and then go to very beginning of this animation and set this value maybe 2.2 hit enter all right and now go to the end of this animation select this image plane 3d for this image and hold control and scale it up and set it like that all right now select this image plane 3d for this text and let's scale it up a bit like that all right and then go to your spline window hit f4 on the keyboard to full screen and check this g offset and click on this fit button and select these keyframes click on this smooth button and set the cti over here on frame number zero and hold this handle and create a curve like that all right now hit f4 again and close this spline window all right now we have to add a shadow node for this text so just select this text and hold control and a space bar for search box and search for shadow so this is our shadow node hit add button and now go to this inspector window and set this softness 0.05 and set this alpha value maybe 0.5 hit enter so as you can see it's looking much more better all right now let's convert all these 3d node into 2d so we have to take a renderer 3d node so click on this button to add a renderer 3d and attach this merge with this renderer 3d and drag this renderer 3d in this viewer like that all right so it's done and then attach this media out with this renderer 3d like this and then go to your edit tab and now we have to create an aspect ratio for cinematic look so go to timeline go to output blanking and click on this option 2.4 so as you can see it's looking nice and now let's create a multiple variation of this composition so hit ctrl c to copy and hit ctrl v to paste and then go to fusion tab and let's change this image and text so click on this single viewer and open this media pool and right click on that go to import media and select your second image so i'm using this one click on open and drag this second image on this flow window like that and let's delete this first image and attach this second image with this crop node and let's change this text so select this text and i'm gonna type fast and then go to your edit tab all right let's create one more so just select this hit ctrl v to paste and go to fusion tab and in this case i'm using a gradient background so just delete this image and take a background node and let's attach this background with this crop node all right and now let's change the text so select this text and i'm tapping and and let's create a gradient background so just select this background and go to this inspector window and change this type solid color to gradient and pick this point and pick a nice color like that and pick this point and pick a nice color like that and set this gradient line like this all right so it's looking nice and then go to your edit tab all right so as you can see it's looking like this all right so i think you guys got the idea what i am doing so using same technique you can create different variation of this and create a nice typographic intro that you want to create 
and that's all for this tutorial guys i hope you like it if you like it then hit the subscribe button and click on the bell icon and i will see you in next tutorial till then bye bye